Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I'm using this gorgeous Sleepy Sloth kit from Lime and Mortar this week. So if you want to see how this one all came together, then just keep watching. Alright, so this week I'm going to be using this kit from Lime and Mortar. Now if you saw my, I think it was my March live, I would have shown you this. This is the Sleepy Sloth Mix and Match Lime Mail. I got the whole thing. But... I did, and I reckon it's my fault. I reckon I put the wrong size in. So these boxes are actually not the right size. Not that they're ever the right size, but they're actually completely the wrong size. So I'm gonna try with a different size box, just because I can. So to start off with, I'm gonna put some washi tape on the top and the bottom. So this one here, this is a um, skinny one from Kmart, and this one's a super skinny one from Sheer Margie Designs. They're both reasonably old. So it wouldn't surprise me if when we pulled this off it, it didn't have any stick or had too much stick. But we'll see how we go. Came up once got a little bit too much sticky, but I'll just you just have to run your fingers along them really. Uh, and before we start, I'm just gonna take off the Easter Monday. Just using my undo, because I'm gonna move it. I'm just gonna grab hold of that. Move her over. This is the only reason that I allow myself to put these kind of stickers is in is because I have my undo and I know I can move them whenever I like. If I had to stick them and stick them, I think that would actually be really painful. And in fact, I used to not do that. I used to actually have them and I'd write it in in pencil and then stick the sticker in like the week of. But now we have undo. So while that's drying at the top, I'll go ahead and do the bottom. So I'm going to run it right along the line. So it'll be the purple on the inside line. I'm trying to keep those straight as I can, which I've done a horrible job. This really super skinny washi, or this skinny washi, is actually really hard to keep in a straight line, I find anyway. But I do my best. And then I'm gonna put the super skinny on the floor, apparently. I'm gonna put the super skinny one just underneath it. So it'll end up being the same width, or very close to the same width as a normal bit of washi, but it just gives us that two-tone effect. So I'll just flip this over and do the top. Actually, before we do this, I'm just going to wipe that out. So there's just a little bit of excess sticky left on the, on the washi, and that's just because it is a really old roll of washi. So I'm just rubbing that off with my finger. It's very much like glue dots. They just come up. So it's not hard to do. There we go. Now that I've got all those in, I'm just gonna pull this up gently and just cut off all of the excess. Now on this right-hand side, I just have to be really careful because I've got that folded bit of rainy days and I don't want to accidentally Cut that. No, I'm fine. I don't want to ruin last week's plan a week while fixing this week's plan a week. Yeah, it's stuck to my finger. And I'm just go ahead and cut the other side as well. And then I'm going to speed forward and do the other side. straight and it is pulling a little bit on the edges but once you put that into the planner it'll sit flat. Alright for the days of the week, oh, hold on, yeah we'll do the days of the week next. I've got my lime and water days that sort of, when I say match, I felt this one needed a bit of whimsy handwriting kind of thing so that's what this one is. And then what I've gone ahead and done, if you guys have seen all the Kiki K stickers, I love these little alphabet stickers, they're fantastic. I love the black ones, but the black ones don't come in numbers. They only come in letters, which is fine. Um, but I really wanted to do like a big, bold letter kind of 
thing. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut these out on the Cricut. And that was a slightly time consuming way to do it. Actually, it didn't take long at all. Um, it's just typing them out. And so they're gonna be big numbers that I'm gonna match up. I really liked that the other week when I tried it. So I thought I'd do it again, uh, but I wanted black. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I want to put the numbers down, like the numbers and the days of the week down first and then work the stickers out around it. But at the same time, then I'm going, maybe it's easier to do the stickers first. Maybe I want to do stickers first. All right, things I know where they're going to go. I'm going to put this little sleepy sloth. He's going to come and sit over this side and hang down. That's He's just a sticker and he's going to take up all that room. I do want some flip outs or some flip, actually we'll do flip ups this week. So anything that's a flip up needs to be one of these. So I really want to use this one because it's absolutely gorgeous. So all right, let's work on those first. So I've just grabbed a piece of plain white paper. This is just A5 paper. I'm just using my normal, just using normal paper this week just because I can. Because my other paper, I don't really need to use it. Yeah, it's going to be enough. Okay, so I want this to flip upwards. Grab this big sticker. So it's about six centimeters tall, which is much, much bigger than my boxes. And then we're just going to stick it down on the edge here. Now, if I was really clever, I'd put it right in the corner. I don't have that kind of skill to be able to get it to sit there. So I'm just going to put it slightly off, but align it with the bottom. And then while we're doing that, I'm also going to grab this one here with the leaves. This is going to be my other flip up list because they all are the same size we can cut them all out of the same piece of paper and then I'm just because I can just because I can because I don't do this very often I'm going to grab this little mini box quarter box or whatever we call it I'm just doing, I'm going to do a mini flip up as well don't know what I'm going to put under it yet it might be the happy mail list because that's pretty small at the moment but I feel like doing an extra one so I'm going to do it and then we'll cut all of these out now the good thing is because we put that right at the bottom it means cutting these out is actually really easy so I'm just lining it up with my cut line down we go easy as pie I wonder where that answer actually came from because I'm pretty sure that cutting pie like making pie isn't that easy getting pie is in 3.14 I don't think that's easy either so I'm not quite sure where the easy as pie thing came from if you know please let me know this one I'm gonna fold over and then I'm gonna fix it by hand so I'm just folding this over I'm not using my scoring tool not using my scoreboard or anything for this one it's gonna fold it flat over I will grab my score tool just to give that a really good line but then just using my scissors I'm just gonna go down the edge of the of the sticker and I'm just trying to cut this as straight as I can it is folded over still, so I'm cutting both bits of paper at once. I'm just cutting the bottom off. Okay. Easy. We'll do the same thing with these two, just fold them over. Okay, and then we're gonna put, this one has to be on this side. Have that one sitting there. I'm gonna put another put it in the middle. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna have that sitting there. I'm gonna put this one here. I got too far ahead of myself. I want one of the quarter boxes. Okay, this one here with the purple. It's gonna go just here. So on the sort of edge of the the lines. And that'll go there. And then I'm gonna put this one right next to it. It's slightly bigger, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna stick this little pop-up one at the bottom. I was gonna do that with glue tape and make a mess, and make a bit of noise, but that's alright. So I'll sit that in the middle, just a little bit down from the top. There we go. Put that one at the bottom. I'm just trying to keep it as lined up as I can, but if it's not perfect, that's okay. It's a bit far to the right, but that's alright. A bit far to the left, sorry. Mm. Thankfully I have some time with that glue tape. All right, I'm going to do something very similar on the other side. Because we've got the bits and pieces, we don't need the... We've got like the sloth at the bottom there. So I'm going to put that in the middle. And then maybe just have two... Oh, I really want to use... 
I really want to use him, but at the same time, I've already used him on the other side, so I probably can't. He's really cute. I love that sort of side side guy. He's a bit cute. Um, I really love that slightly different box shape. I thought that was really cool. I'm actually going to do two down the side, two of the big ones. Actually, I'm going to put the brown sort of sloth at the top. That is a really hard word to say if you say it really badly. It kind of sounds like you're drunk when you say it. Sloth. That was really not straight. Lime and mortar stickers are pretty good. Unless you sort of push it down all the way, they will come up. Usually not too bad. That one's just caught a little bit, but I think I pushed it, so. That's okay. I'm gonna cover that up anyway, so it's not gonna be a problem. Let's try and get that as straight as I can. Stick the little flip up one as well. A little mark there. Oh, that came from. Then we'll get the big sloth sticker. This is a little bit intricate, so just be careful as you're pulling it off the sheet, especially with these leaves. Or you'll do what I just did. Oi! It's alright, I can fix him. I'm just getting rid of the bits and pieces. Stick that where I want him to sit. I want it to sit just like that. And then we'll fix that bit up. Stupid, stupid me. I don't think you'll notice in the end. Okay. Same thing, you won't notice the little bit of white out that's sitting behind there either. So, Alright, there's all our stickers. I will still put more in, but they're the, the basis ones. I want to put in April over this side because it's been a couple of weeks since I've put the month in so just so I you know remember what month of the year it is because really at this point does anyone have any idea what month of the year it is I don't think so so I'm gonna put that at the top I'm gonna put my Easter Monday sticker back in and I'm just gonna have it down a little bit further so it lines up with the box all right now we're gonna move on to we're gonna move on to those numbers so I think, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run them all through my Xyron machine. That way it's a little bit, they're actually, pardon me, stickers, not numbers, because putting glue on here will be a pain. So I'm just going to run these through the Xyron machine. This could take a minute because you've got to just sort of put them in a little bit carefully, because I obviously don't want to, don't want to bend them, and don't want them to flip around the wrong way. So I'm kind of placing them in here with my tweezers just so they sort of catch on. If you've used a Xyron machine before, you'll know that it kind of works by putting the, you're putting the, the piece of paper between the outside and the, like the release paper and the sticker paper, and then when you pull it through, that then turns it into a sticker. So all I'm doing here is just making sure that they go in the right spot. I'm also checking all my cuts because they are very, very small, intricate cuts. I just want to make sure that it's actually got everything. This one's just not quite right. That's where these awesome, really skinny nosed tweezers are awesome because you can get into those really little kind of bits. So I'm just sticking it down in between the two bits of paper and then when I pull it down, and I've got to remember to give it a bit more room because I try and be frugal and you really don't need to be. So I've just got probably a little bit not enough glue on these couple of ones and the six down here, but that's all right. So we'll take off the release paper. That goes in the bin. And then we've got our number stickers. Now there's a little bit of adhesive stuck to the front. Just as I put them down, I'm just going to rub that out. All right. So we'll start off with the Monday. I'll show you the sort of first couple and then I'll go ahead and speed through the rest. So I'm covering up the day more than the number for this one, but I'm coming over as far sort of to the, the right as I possibly can. I'm not gonna put white out on it for this one. And then we'll grab the one. And the idea is here, I wanna kind of build it up to look a bit, look a bit different. And 
then for this next one I might put the the one sort of here-ish and again I can move I can wipe any of these out if I want to I'm just going to try and cover it up as best I can that one's not going to work so for this one I'll wipe it out Now that four will have some sticker sort of glue in between like in the four so again just grabbing just my finger and just rubbing that out and then we'll put the Tuesday in which will cover up the 14 and that's just sort of what I'll do the whole way down just flick it between sides whichever side sort of feels or looks better we'll just do that numbers I think maybe they're a tinty 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 little bit too big and I think this 13 is a little too close together Whoopsies. but other than that I might have to put it back because it's now yeah just left a little bit of a mark there I'm just gonna move it back over all right so now we're going to pull out some bits and pieces. So I've got this one here that's a happy mail. So I'm going to put that in here. Whoops, come on, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I left it a little bit too far over. Again, it's going to go straight back in the same spot so it doesn't matter that it peeled a little bit up. Underneath here, I'm gonna have a couple of. I'm gonna have a header. I'm gonna use this one. So grab this green header. Put the green header at the top. And then using the listy ones here now, I'm just gonna make myself some lists. All I'm gonna do, so say for this pink one, I'm just gonna cut off the little flag bits at the bottom. So if I make that into a square and then put that down on here and then I get the next one and do the same thing. I can just continue that the whole way down this little box. So this is one of my sort of to-do lists that I'm going to be running. If you saw my video last week about planning through COVID-19, you know I'm really on a big list thing. And like I said in that video, the lists aren't there to make me feel bad that I'm not doing things or not achieving things, but they're just ideas so that when I do feel like doing something, which for example today, I had absolutely no freaking want to do anything until I jumped on a chat with a couple of my friends and that helped, that helped. So doing things like that and keeping yourself on track that way and use but using now that I'm sort of in the groove when I'm finished here 
I might go and do something else. But instead of having to stop and sort of work out, okay, well, what do I need to do? I just have this list. I can just go straight to it and it'll be fine. I really love this lime green. I wish I had used a bit more of it. I couldn't find a washi that matched, that sort of had this same green color. So rather than wasting this one here, I'm just gonna turn it into a two and a one. I'll grab hold of the one. I don't wanna come off my tweezers. Easy as. And do the exact same thing on this one, but I'm gonna speed through that one. And I'm actually gonna do it around the other way too. I'm gonna to put the header at the bottom. be for two different lists there might be sort of like a start of the week list or a back end of the week list or there might be a, a card list or something like that got my happy mail under there okay things I need to put in here obviously we've got the live on Thursday night I think I said I think I might have said last week it was Wednesday night but it is Thursday night and I will put up some posts about that coming up I'm going to put in a few things these are Sophie's icons and I had them on an Instagram post last week and I, I really don't want to use them. They're far too cute, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so I'm going to put on here, I'm going to put this little running one. So it's going to be on Wednesday. That's not, we're obviously not still going to the gym, but that's our sort of the night we try and make sure we're doing something. I just want to put this cute little dog paw on here and I want to put it as more of a, a reminder so just to I want at the end of the week to count how many times we took Jet for a walk. Jet is probably the laziest dog in the entire world. He doesn't need to go for a ton of walks but we have been trying to take him out every day. It's just as much for us as it is for him. Uh, I've just got a shopping thing to remind me to go shopping on Tuesday because obviously we're going to eat all the food considering we're on Easter. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting a birthday. I'm not, but we'll leave those like that for now. All right, I just need to have a couple of decoration ones because I can, no other reason. Just to remind me that we are actually still having weekends. <laughs> couple of these clouds. I do have a couple of sloths on each side so I don't want to use too many of the sloths but I'm going to grab this one. So this is the only other sloth I'm going to put on here. No I tore the sloth. It's right I can fix the sloth. Cool. I didn't tear him the whole way through so it should be okay how buttery Leanne's stickers are, they come apart when I'm pulling them off. So I'm going to have him sitting, sitting on the side here, just getting the ankle right while I'm putting back together. Yeah. Got a little sleepy sloth down in the corner. Little clouds. Maybe another leaf there. Leaf up here. <laughs> Makes it look like he's flopping. I don't want to do that. And one more, this little cute purple flower. And I'm going to leave it at that. It's not too complicated, but it's definitely, I like those slightly bigger stickers. I think they've kind of allowed me to play a little bit more. I think maybe this side isn't quite as even as the others. I really do love the, the numbers, although I need to find a way to keep them kind of in a straight line. I think maybe they would have been better one way or the other. That black at the top is just kind of annoying me. So I'm just grabbing my white gel pen and just trying to tidy it up a little bit. Overall I think that's really cool. I like the colour combos with the purple and the teal. I think that's worked really nicely. I've still got plenty of room to write. I've got some spaces in here um, and I've also got this whole big thing down here because I have been sort of writing little bits and pieces um, every week. Obviously I've got plenty of room for my lists. But let me know what you think. Leave it down below or you can find me on any of my social medias. Don't forget to give this one a big old thumbs up 
If you did enjoy it and if you like these cute little icons, make sure you head over to Lime and Water and grab some for yourself because they're really, really cute. And I cannot wait, Sophie, I cannot wait for this all to be over so I can have a go camping or I can have a go and get coffee or I can have a go get cupcakes. And when I do, I'm going to use those stickers everywhere, absolutely everywhere. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Like I said, please give a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. Hope you have an awesome, awesome week. Don't forget to come and hang out with me for my live on Thursday night. It's at 8 o'clock and I will see you then. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.